Hey guys, here in New England, it looks like this warm weather is finally here to stay. But of course, with springtime comes one thing that I don't look forward to, and that's the grackles. So first off, grackles are a black bird. Uh, they resemble a crow, but the one distinct feature they have is a shiny metallic blue neck. What happens is, in the springtime, these birds will come out and they will start nesting um, in trees or shrubs around your house. Um, fortunate for me, uh, my yard is surrounded by uh, arborvitaes in uh, a couple of different sides, um, and that is the perfect nesting ground for these birds. The problem starts when the baby birds are born and the mother bird decides to clean out the nest of the baby's poop. Um, if you've got a pool and, uh, and it's got water on it uh, on, the, on the winter cover like most do, um, you know, from the, from the springtime rainstorms that we have, um, these birds uh, instinctively uh, are trained to carry these poop sacks uh, from the baby birds and bring them to a, like a water source, like a pond or a lake or a pool, whatever's local, whatever resembles, you know, some kind of water. Um, and it can make a disgusting mess. Um, it will happen until the baby birds are grown up enough to leave the nest. Um, and of course, there's never just one nest. There's multiple birds, multiple nests. Um, so this can be a really big, disgusting problem um, if you've got this, you know, going on in your house. Uh, over the years, I've tried many different methods to try and deter these birds. Um, the first method I tried was using a commercial bird repellent spray. Um, it was very expensive. Uh, I was told it worked very well in situations like airports, um, but it didn't. Um, you know, it, it, it might have worked temporarily with certain other birds, but these birds didn't really go after that. Uh, I also tried using uh, reflective mirrors uh, to try and scare these birds away. Um, you know, it, again, it worked, but not very long. Um, I even tried using uh, decoys like an owl or the big eyeball blow up um, that looks like a beach ball. Um, again, these birds are very smart. Uh, once they learn that these things are not going to harm them, they don't uh, stay away very long. Uh, so it wasn't until I did some extensive research and decided to bite the bullet and uh, invest in a um, bird expeller. You can probably hear it right now going off in the background. So the bird expeller is basically a sonic uh, speaker which uh, sends out uh, distress calls uh, of other birds. Um, and the version I have for grackles and blackbirds is the uh, expeller pro version number two. Uh, that one is designed with the certain calls and distress calls uh, for these types of birds. Um, basically what it does is um, you've got a variety of different um, distress calls from different types of birds, predator birds, um, even grackle distress signals uh, that they don't like to listen to. And you can alternate and change them depending on which ones you want to hear, how many you want to hear, how often you want them to come out. Um, and they'll, they'll play in randomness. Um, I have mine set up on a timer so that it comes on early in the morning uh, and stays on until late in the evening. Um, Basically, what it does is just, it makes the environment or the area uh, sort of uncomfortable for them. If they're hearing other birds or predator birds send out distress signals and distress calls, um, it's not an area they want to stick around in. So I got mine on Amazon. Uh, I think I paid about $180 for it. Uh, I think currently right now it's, uh, it's listed for about $165. Um, it sounds like a lot of money, but again, if you've got this disgusting problem going on in your yard or in your pool, uh, you're going to want to spend some money to try and get rid of this because it's just, it's unbearable and it's just, it really just makes your pool like swimming in a toilet. Um, there are some things about this thing that you do have to um, remember. Um, uh, last year when I got mine, I, uh, I got it kind of late in the season. These birds had already nested um, and basically to try and get them away from their own baby birds was going to be nearly impossible. Um, it did deter them a little bit, but they didn't completely leave. Uh, this year I set this thing up really early in the season once I start, started seeing any of these birds around the area, and uh, I think it's working pretty good. Um, there are some tips that I'll give you. Um, basically, you should be changing the distress calls uh, around every day, every other day. 
um, adjusting the volume and moving the box itself to different areas, you know what I mean? Just to, just to keep these birds on their toes. Um, again, they're smart. They'll figure out that, you know, something that's not going to harm them, it's, it's not going to keep them away. So if you keep changing things up a little bit, it really does help to, um, you know, keep them on their toes and keep them away. As always, thanks for watching guys. If you like my video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.